I've uh, had this uh, throttle mechanism now curing for at least three days. I uh, thought I'd just make a quick video of it, me putting it back together, or well, trying to put it back together. So, uh, yeah, it's um, it's a lot of parts, springs, <coughs> uh, everything's just got to fit together to make sure. So here we go. I've made this uh, throttle fastener really tight fit now that I have uh, glue or epoxied it together. But it seems to hold pretty good. Just make sure that's in the groove. It only fits one way, so just make sure that. And uh, there's a return spring, or something. I don't know what you call it. But if you see here, there's a sort of a lead try and watch the screen here too but just make sure that one of the spring uh, one of the leads just enter that groove flip it on the side there and that's actually all just got to make sure that it fits in the groove and also fits on this here this got to fit on this uh, slot the way I do this is I just sort of make it fit I put push the spring in and just maneuver it in like that. When I hold it, you can see it now returns and just like that. Uh, now to put the handle back together. This uh, mechanism here, I've just disabled it because I never use it. Because it's, in my opinion, it's useless. I never want to rev it at semi full max anyway, so. I just sort of disable it there. But for the sake of this, we can try to put it in. So, this um, lead of wires is going to fit between the two torque screws, if you can see. Here, it's got to fit in between those two torque screws to make it fit. So, what you do is you just Press this on, make sure the spring is seated correctly down there. You can feel them when it's not, not supposed to be in there anymore. While uh, holding, or well, trying to hold this down, you can just place this on top of itself. It actually falls into place. The only thing that can be a little troublesome is that mechanism here but if you just work it sometimes you gotta unscrew that screw a little bit more so you just gotta fiddle this and once you've done that it should slot right back together like so you can see it's actually working without the springs and all that but still So yeah, that's it. The screws are real simple and straightforward to put back together. Uh, this screw here, on this throttle mechanism anyway, it just never leaves, so all you have to do to start fastening it is, they are sort of self-tapping screws, so you can just screw it in. And you have a hole, so you can let go. Uh, there is one long screw, and it's much thinner than everybody else, so you just Put that in the tiny hole in the center. Screw that. It's a long screw, so it takes some time screwing it in. Before fastening this one, just make sure that you have the handle set like you want to, because this will sort of fasten it more. There are three, or if you count that one, there's four of these. They're just straightforward. You gotta be careful when you tighten these because these just tighten right into plastic. See, it's very easy to strip. Two of the screws 
have a nut on the other side and uh, that's this right there and on the back so they're <coughs> exactly opposite to each other to create tension I guess uh, the let me turn it over the nuts fasten right into there into the uh, grooves this one really sits in there but this one doesn't so all you do is put the nut in there and hold on the back side turn it around make sure the bolt enters the nut now these are the ones that really tighten the handle on so you don't got to be that careful when tightening these but still not too much because you'll break the handle Since the nut is fastened on the back, I always hold on the back side anyways, but just push it in and like that and you can see the handles now on there. The safety works. And the uh, yeah. The mechanism on this this thing here is you can push that down and sort of get half throttle all the time. I don't want that so that thing's just disabled but it's always great to have the uh, safety there so you don't accident accidentally trigger it you can see if I can try to make try to show you the uh, butterfly on the throttle there you can see this now working like it should.